All right, guys. Hey, now. Top five most wanted broadheads from ATA coming at you right now. Hope you enjoy the show. Hey, hey now everybody, we're live, brand new take aim, and I thought I'd get an episode out of what I thought the top five broadheads I saw at ATA. When I say top, I just mean new, inter interesting, or broadhead that has been redesigned or upgraded. And just the vibe at the show, you, you always hear people saying, hey, did you see this product or did you see that product? So some of that comes into account for what I'm talking about here today some of which two on this list are broadheads i definitely am interested in shooting this year and some are i think really great broadheads i just probably not going to spend 300 bucks a year on broadheads just to test them out but two of two of the broadheads i'm going to mention today i'm definitely going to be using at least getting a pack of them to see uh you know how they work how they function but um they're all really great broadheads and i think everybody kind of at ata at one time or another had seen these broadheads or had even talked about them. They, uh, again, all of them serve a different purpose. Some are expandables or mechanicals, however you like to call them. And some are just your standard fixed blade, like the brand new uh, Wasp broadhead that actually has Havilon blades on, on it. And I'll touch on that in a minute. But just a lot of great broadheads this year. And the innovation has not stopped. And uh, every year that's one of my favorite things at ATA is really just broadheads. I love to see what came out, what was modified, and what's new. So anyways, with that said, we will kick this thing off. And first I want to talk about is the new broadhead from Swacker. It's a uh, basically a brand new, you know, Swacker. It's, a, it's called the Levi Morgan Signature Series. And it's uh, basically, which I always thought that, uh, you know, I've always loved the Swacker. I, I've used them for years. It's a great broadhead. And I always thought, though, that there was just a little bit of room for improvement to make this broadhead better. And I, and I kept waiting for them to do this. And they finally did this with the, with uh, Levi. And basically, uh, Levi, from what I was told, Levi has worked with Swacker on this. And basically, what they did was they up graded and strengthen the furl on the broadhead itself so you'll see it, it's 20 percent stronger it actually has a lock set in it so when you're practicing you don't have to uh, shoot a different broadhead you can actually shoot that broadhead it locks the blades right in place you don't even have to use o-rings which was really cool and you can see actually small little grooves in the the furrow itself and basically reducing drags makes it a little more aerodynamical a little more efficient but uh, i think it's awesome when you get a uh, broadhead that you can practice with using using the actual broadhead you're practicing with is is always huge um and then what you do is you simply depress the lock and uh, you're back to shooting your regular broadhead for hunting. But uh, just like the normal Swacker, it's going to be a 100 grain, a 2 inch cut. Relatively speaking, we're looking at $45 um, MSRP for a 3 pack. Give or take, who knows you know, what uh, retailers you got around, but that would be basically the, uh, the cost on them. And unlike normal Swackers you've seen that have customarily always been black or green ferrule, these are blue. So... Another key feature on this is the blades are way more offset. They're a little more angled, kind of, um, you know, they, they sharpen downward. They're not so straight across, which I definitely think is going to help reduce drags on entry holes. And uh, it's hopefully accumulates some more pass throughs. But uh, I love the angle of the blades a lot better than the original version. And it's definitely broadhead. I look forward to actually getting a pack of and, and seeing what it does but uh big fan of those i think uh schwacker hit a home run with that that broadhead so anyways next we got that uh wasp havilon hv that uh, i wanted to talk to you guys about it's such a it's a sweet looking uh low profile fixed blade so anyways uh huge fan of wasp as well just being american made and uh they've always been a uh kind of to me, a gold standard for broadheads. Even the uh, Wasp Jackhammer is was probably one of the most reliable expandables ever made, and they've always made some of the nicest, coolest looking, uh, you know, fixed broadheads out. But uh, this Havilon broadhead from them, it, I don't know. I don't have a Havilon, but what I do know is everybody tells me 
you can't touch the blades. Havilon is known for the sharpest blades on earth. And with this broadhead, this is no exception. So uh, those things are extremely sharp. I was afraid to touch it just even at the show. Like, I mean, it, it, I mean, you can just literally see the finest, you know, part of the blade is reflecting light. It's just like it's so dang sharp, it's scary. And it, it is obviously going to be just a killer of a broadhead. But it's a 100 grain stainless steel tip. Okay, and it's also a uh, really thick blade. It's a 0.35 uh, surgically start, sharp stainless steel blade. Comes at an inch and 3 16 cutting diameter. And... Uh, one thing that's uh, yeah I think always kind of been known about Wasp is they make uh, very easy broadheads to replace your blades. So if you're one of those guys that just you know functionality and it works and you want to just change the blades, keep shooting what you're shooting. The same goes for this Havilon HV, which I thought was really really cool. They made them exactly the same way. You can change your uh, blades and put on fresh ones. Uh, roughly these are uh, three pack of broadheads, but they do come with six replacement blades for MSRP around 45 bucks, which is uh, also a you know pretty standard price and a good deal actually if you factor in the six replacement blades. But uh, it's really cool looking broadhead. Kind of had, you can see the Havilon logo in, in the blade itself and a really cool orange ferrule and uh, kind of just stands out really good looking broadhead another broadhead that i was really kind of pumped about and you could probably tell i'm just uh i might like expandables a little more and if uh, brian broderick heard me talk about this he would call me out on it uh which is really funny uh and i totally believe brian but just we all have uh you know we're all fans of gear and i just something about expandables i really like um obviously i i don't like uh you know taking the option to fail which that's what brian and talks about all the time and I've talked to with him about it all the time but um this broadhead is the uh Ramcat Cage Reaper and let me tell you it, you know Ramcat's known for a great broadhead historically anyways but and I don't think this will be any exception there's a lot going on with this broadhead so when I say a lot I mean it's crazy uh the tip actually presses in on impact so I think the guy told me if I remember right it was two pounds or less of pressure and it triggers a spring that deploys basically your blades back into a lock position and they actually lock so you know that is I mean when you think about two pounds even if it was two pounds always that's nothing that's nothing you're shooting you know uh you know a 50 60 70 pound bow 300 to 500 grain arrow or a little bit heavier two pounds is nothing to deploy those blades back into a lock position so like i said the they slide the blade slide back into place you can uh simply press a tab on the side of the ferrule to fold the blades back the i think the tip is really cool too because it's kind of has a concave design or you know i, I it's actually a really unique tip. I don't even know if I can describe it totally. But, uh, you know, it also is a two-inch cutting diam diameter. Uh, it's very, very tough-looking blades, very, you know, tough-looking build on this. And it is, uh, it is a really slick-looking broadhead. And w probably one of the most top, the probably top three that I thought was dynamic or different or brand new. It was in the top three for innovation for sure. It's also capable of shooting out of the fastest crossbows on the market and it msrps at 45 bucks just like everybody else on this list so far okay nap new archery products every year they seem to have you know some of the best broadheads out on the market this year is no exception they also have a brand new broadhead that i thought was again uh you know i built this l list off of what i saw just on uh what i would call it innovation unique broadheads and broadheads that I think kind of popped at the show and, and people around ATA were talking about it. This NAP Dark Knight is what I would call one of those broadheads that is super unique and it's neat to see the innovation when something changes. But this broadhead has a pivoting fixed blade that is designed to actually pivot and moves inside the animal if it hits heavy bone, which I think is amazing. And uh, it uses a spring clip. Uh, they had a name for it. I forget the name of the clip, but regardless, it's a clip. And, uh, you know, to, it actually secures that blade during flight. And the fixed blade portion of that is an inch and three quarters. So it's a really nice, big, solid cutting diameter. And uh, the cool part of it, this broadhead, it actually has a head uh, traditional expanding blade, I'm sorry, that cuts 
on an offset design, offset of the other blades, an inch and one eighth. The whole design is meant to basically allow the broadhead to be penetrate no matter what it's hitting, rib bones, shoulder bones, whatever, and that's how they made this thing. And it's literally called the Dark Knight, which is really funny because it actually looks like something like very Batman-like. Uh, it's a black broadhead, black ferrule, and uh, it's really good looking head. It's available in 100 and 125 grain, plus a, you know, a crossbow version as well. Not sure if that's any difference besides maybe a, a uh, you know, the spring clip, the, the tension's a little bit tighter on it, I assume. Uh, MSRP is 40 bucks for these bad boys. They run in a th three pack. But uh, like I said, you have cutting blades in one direction, cutting blades in the other, and the, the one set of blades actually pivot back and forth and will move through the ferrule during, uh, you know, during the, the body core or cavity if you're hitting any kind of bone or cartilage or anything. So it's really unique design, and, uh, you know, again, it was one of those broadheads that I just really thought was talked about quite a bit at ATA. Anyway, the next broadhead, and maybe, you know, me personally, the top second or third broadhead I was most excited about at the show was uh, from SICK, S-I-K. SICK is basically from the Escalade Sports family, which is like Bear, Trophy Ridge, uh, that whole group right there, Rocket Broadheads. But they offer three broadheads in the line, but today we're just going to talk about the SK2 Mechanical Broadhead. It's a two-blade expandable with what they call Flight Lock te Technology. Now, the blades are really high on this broadhead, right behind the tip of the broadhead. The tip is a very sharp chisel tip that basically cuts on impact. Uh, I mean, it's super sharp, but it's a wicked look, wicked looking chisel tip. And what's neat about this, about this broadhead, if you look down from the top of it, you can see the blades are on the top and the bottom of that ferrule. So they're they're literally offset. So they, it, the idea, the premise of this, this company is like four years in the making, the guy told me. And But anyways, the offset design creates a very unique wound channel and actually can create a 3.625 cutting service. I cannot say cur create today, but... Um, so when it slaps, basically you would call it the slap. So when the, when the broadhead hits the animal, those blades will open so wide before they kind of go back in their normal place. And then once they're back in the normal place, it's over a two inch cutting diameter all the way through the rest of the animal. Another cool thing, the uh, flight lock technology, these clips, it almost looks like red wax, but they're really hard. Uh, you can you can take those, take those off. You can change the blades. You can, they sell the... Uh, flight lock clips in I think he said a six pack for like $9.99 so you can replace all of it basically and have a brand new broadhead once again all the time but it's one of the best looking heads out I would uh, you know really love to get a pack to see you know just shooting wise what they're like at you know past 50 yards 60 yards 70 yards even though I probably never shoot an animal past 50 yards but uh, I would like to see what they do in flight but uh Man, that like I said, that leaving the game with a two-inch offset entry hole is pretty cool. So on the exit, like I said, that even though it's going to slap at 3.6, your offset hole on the exit will be you know a solid two-inch hole. But uh, I think it's one of the best-looking broadheads that I've seen in a long time. I like those blades set up at the top like that, very close to the chisel tip, because it's just there's no reason that should fail. Those should open instantly. So it's a really slick looking design. Roughly a three pack is going to run you for $49.99. And you can find those at uh, sickbroadheads.com. I'm not quite sure where or if they're going to be in stores. He didn't really tell me. Uh, but I would assume you can find them probably at every retailer that you're going to find, uh, you know, Bear, Trophy Ridge, Rocket Broadheads, stuff like that. But uh, they have a great uh you know, really nice, clean website that has a really cool link to the YouTube channel that uh, gives a little two-minute promo video as well. The guy showed me uh, in the booth there. But, uh, man, what a, it's a very slick-looking broadheads, and they have probably two of the coolest-looking fixed-blade broadheads I've seen in a very long time. Very clean, very symmetrical, very aerodynamical. And uh, if I was a fixed-blade shooter as well I, I mean those are broadheads i would definitely look at it's basically a real solid two blade design and they basically have really cool uh you know I, i'll call them a bleeder blade in the middle of the ferrule and it's a basically it's a one piece design so it's super super solid and uh those produce um if i remember right like 1.3 cutting diameter and uh the blades are just uh super homed 
and they I think they're like a 27 degree razor blade and I don't know they're just slick looking for you know a fixed bladed broadhead uh, they're definitely a broadhead you could you know shoot clean resharpen and use over and over it, it looks almost indestructible so definitely check out the sick broadheads but those are just a couple of the broadheads that I thought that I you know kind of stood out the most to me and uh you know there's a lot of great broadheads i'm not knocking anything or anybody that was out at the ata but these are just five that i thought were super unique in their own right and uh, everybody would kind of like or uh, you know probably see in the media coming at, at you the next year here so uh the next show we'll have demos i'm sorry jacques jacques demos shock effect uh whitetail products me and jacques were in the booth and hung out for a bit and just recorded a uh quick 20 25 minute podcast kind of just more or less a casual chat but uh, we'll have that show out to you guys probably on monday so as always if you get a chance leave us a five-star review on itunes and make sure to check us out everywhere uh you know take aim is featured itunes pod bros outdoor podcast channel unfiltered app uh, make sure you guys check that out it's as easy as entering your email and setting up a username and uh, that's it so we'll see you guys next week